After the dreadful hashtag captured was finished, I wanted to continue down this path of laptop horror, uh, as I'm calling it. And I checked out Ratter, I think is how you say this. Now, I thought I had not seen this movie, but I was kind of unsure. But I'm pretty sure I saw this movie when it came out. Now, this stars Ashley Benton. Uh, Benton? Ben, Benson? Benton. Ben, whatever it is. People seem to have a hard on for this chick. I mean, she's a beautiful girl, no doubt about it. I recognize some titles that she's been in just when I looked at the very beginning of her IMDb page. I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, a bunch of people were like, oh my God, I love her, this and that. I was like, because she's hot or because she's somebody that I'm not aware of? Like, did she do something? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so there is this young girl who is in college and she is away from home and she lives in her own little apartment and some guy is stalking her through her webcam and her cell phone camera and has you know hacks into her accounts looks through her emails and you know screws with her messages uh, contacts her you know her boyfriend of course there's a red herring set up here um, of her ex-boyfriend who's you know, calling her and is really angry with her and basically the whole movie just kind of is this guy fucking with her life you know in a very realistic way I think that that's what this film does very well but at the same time I also feel like it's to its detriment a little bit like it borders that fairly realistic but not enough going on to be a film like of course it's a film but when I say film I mean grandiose theatrical and some people like that some people like that like really really realistic focused not a lot's happening kind of thing and with this film and I think this might just be because at this point in the found footage or laptop horror subgenre we've seen everything in this film so i'm watching it later on into this craze and for me there's zero that this film has to offer in the way of original unique um done did this best all those kinds of things it's it's kind of typical you know it's she's getting stalked it escalates a little bit here and there you can kind of guess where things are going you know the 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 killer or whatever you want to call him the stalker he is um more and more bold throughout the movie um and and, and as i said i think you can kind of guess where things are going to head there's there's nothing in this movie that was surprising the ending is fairly dark but yet again not something that's all that unique um the performances are good um much billion times better than the hashtag hashtag captured movie that I just watched so that was that was uh, helpful there's very few characters in this movie almost none at all there's just her the guy that she's kind of seeing and then like a couple of her friends and you know a random person here or there for like 10 seconds a minute there's very very little it's it's mostly focused on on Ashley's character we spend 90% of the movie with her just kind of in her house, um, living day-to-day -day activities, working out, um, masturbating, whatever. This person is really looking into their lives. And I think for somebody who, you know, especially a woman, a young woman, you feel like this could be happening to you. I mean, this would feel very realistic to you. And the way it plays out, Nothing in this is fantastical. Nothing in this is over the top. Nothing in this is not believable. And so in that way, I think it succeeds. But at the same time, because I've seen so much of this at this point, I did find myself rather, not bored, but the film felt dull at times. There was like the whole film, you know, he's watching. So you're watching through his eyes the entire film which is kind of creepy. You're like voyeuristically joining this nutcase on his, you know, spying, is peeping on this girl. So 
in that way, it, it feels kind of uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to be watching this asshole's video. Like, I don't want to watch what this guy's, you know, looking at. This guy's, this guy's terrible. Um, but that's the way it's presented. And because of that, it can be effective. I just, I just wish there was more to it. Um, that, that there was a little more escalation that we could see a little bit more from outside parties. But it's a very intimate portrayal. And a very realistic one. So it's, this isn't a knock. I totally get the film and I think that it works. And so for what it's going for, I think it kind of nails it. It's just me personally, I wish that maybe a little bit more had been going on. But not, not, a, not a bad film, not a knock on the film. It, what it goes for, it, it, does, it does achieve. It just, I didn't find myself as interested as invested in her character because yeah it's just super realistic that's i mean i think i feel kind of like an idiot saying that as like a negative but it is a negative for me because nobody's all that interesting dialogue isn't all that clever like it's all just kind of like you're watching someone's average day-to-day -day life and that's what they're going for so successful right so it's not a knock it's just a personal knock where i'm like mm, i don't know like i'd like it to be a little more theatrical i'd like it to be a little more entertaining is the word i suppose i would use i'd like the relationship to be a little bit more romantic and fun and i would like them more if if you know because people don't talk like they do in movies at all I'm well aware of that. Trust me, my life would be a thousand times better if they did. I always thought as a kid growing up that people were going to talk real smoothly and clever and just like be able to not only perfectly articulate themselves, but to also, you know, come up with pithy dialogue that would be, you know, really interesting, intriguing, thought provoking, funny, original. That shit doesn't happen. People are stumbling all over their words. They can't properly convey anything. It's all just nonsense a lot of the times. And it's, it's very underwhelming. And with this movie, <clears throat> while they are focusing on what needs to be focused on in the moments, it just is very blah. It's so hum. It's like, you know, oh, what'd you do today? Oh, I did this. Oh, you know, you dating this guy? Oh, tell me about him. Oh, you know, we went somewhere and, uh, you know, I like him. And it's just, it, it's if you put a camera in someone's room and watch their life, it'd be boring as fuck, right? The movie isn't boring as fuck because there's a thriller aspect to it and because of the voyeuristic nature of the film. I'm just, you get what I'm saying? I just didn't find myself all that enthralled with it, even though there is some tenseness to it towards throughout I suppose but just it never climaxes it's like starting to have sex and it's like all right this this is nice and then it's just like it doesn't go anywhere it's like all right well I mean I'd rather have had sex than not had sex but I would have liked to it have built to something great you know that's how that's that's my explanation for this film write that one down put it on a fucking like a little blurb put that on the front cover of the movie it's like having sex without coming. <laughs>